Make a path curve. Make a circle curve. Rotate it 90 degrees. Select the path. Go to properties. Find bevel in the geometry section. Select object and set your circle as an object. Find some good hair references and also look at some stylized hair to get a better idea of how the hair works. Now go ahead and shape your circle. For adding more points to the circle, just select two of them and subdivide. Shape your circle based on the reference you got. Now when you rotate it, you should have something like this. Select your path and shape the individual point. Press Alt S for a scale up or down to each point. Now you can stretch it forward and shape it like a hair. You just need to look at your reference photo. Also you can change the shape of your circle in real time. Or you can twirl each point by pressing Ctrl T. And if you want to have more detailed hair, you can add more points to your circle. Now bring your character and put it on her head. When you got your desired shape, duplicate it. And do the same for that. Remember, we're doing all that based on the reference. Now do the same thing for the whole head till it's fully covered. Like this. Now add some smaller hair strands to make it look more detailed and spread it throughout the whole head. Give it a simple material and you should have something like this. And the fun part is, it's not just for hair. You can make a stylized armpit hair. You can go even lower and make some stylized...